Shout glory. Christ is and the best thing to be doing where Christ is is what Christ is doing Jesus is involved in this journey and our destination is glory there is nothing in this world higher than glory nothing because God himself is glory that's the scripture. That's why the scripture in 2 Corinthians 3:18 says, But with all, with unveiled face, beholding us in a mirror, the glory of the Lord. That's what we've been doing since we came. Beholding the glory of the Lord through the mirror of his word. He says, I've been transformed into the same image from glory to glory. Just us by the Spirit of the Lord. Hallelujah. Tell him, oh Lord, change me. Change me. You know that area of your life that is has become That's the area where you need to be pointing at tonight. And you are telling him, transform and change me. Change this area of my life from glory to glory. Hallelujah. Say to him, oh Lord, change me, transform me from glory to glory. Let my life experience the fullness of who you are from glory to glory. Oh Lord, show me your glory, the fullness of your glory in this area of my life. Mention that area and begin to pray for yourself. Mention that area. Pray with faith in your heart, in your mind. That stagnant area of your life, that area that looks like there is nothing that can change it. Pray according to the word of the Lord and quote 2 Corinthians 3 18. Lord, let this area of my life experience a shift, experience a change, experience transformation. I don't want to attend the gathering of the spirit or the 22 days. I don't want it to finish without me experiencing a shift, a visible change, a transformation in this area of my life from glory to glory, from glory to glory, from glory to glory. Father, cause a shift. Lord Jesus, bring a transformation. The type that only you your word can command the type that only your word can bring bring transformation lord in the most difficult areas bring transformation and change in the most difficult area lord concerning that area that you know the area concerning that aspect you know the aspect lord bring a visible change oh lord my father i see the cloud like moses i'm 
not afraid, Lord. I step in, Lord. And I ask you, Jesus, show me your glory. Show me your glory. Show me the fullness and the all that makes you the you that you are in that area, Lord. It has lasted a year. It has been there five years. I've known that area all my life, Lord. But in the season, Lord, move me to another realm of glory. Somebody pray for yourself. Pray for your family. Pray for your friends and your family. Pray for Christ's word ministries. Those ugly aspects of your life uh, that is not bringing glory. That is not bringing glory to Jehovah. Tell him, Lord, change this aspect of my life. Uh, Nikabasu tokori agata ayaga yebo shaga yada meli abaga tologote mori agaya kasata mori abagushka yabada netelega yebo libra mada lift up your head oh iketa and be you cast away you everlasting doors you obstacles that has refused the shift that have refused the change I cast you down. Concerning that area, there's a change for me. There's a change for my family. There's a change for Christ's word. And the changes from glory. And the changes to another glory. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the solemn assembly, in these 22 days, you need to hate any area of your life. That is not depicting the glory of the Lord. That the servants of God have been teaching us from day one of the journey. Any aspect of your life that is not experiencing the full weight of the glory of God, you need to hate that area and pray it out of your life with all your heart. Hallelujah. Any area of your life that is not depicting the splendor of God, any of area of your life that is not showing beauty or that is ugly, is an area that must die. It's an area that must die. Any area that is not showing power, any area that is not experiencing prosperity, according to the teachings of the must perish. They must perish. They must perish. Those are the areas you need to hate. Anything that is not showing forth. The glory of the Lord. They must die in this conference. In the mighty name of Jesus. Say with me finally, oh Lord. Every area of my life that is not yet showing your glory. Oh Lord, let that area of my life uh, experience transformation. Experience Second Corinthians three eighteen. Let that area of my life, uh, as I behold the face of Jesus, as I behold the face of the Word of God, uh, let it experience, Lord, a change from glory to glory to glory. Say with me, oh Lord. Oh Lord, whoever it is, whatever is the system, whoever it is, whatever is the spirit standing between me and my, and my, and my transformation and my change, I command you bound tonight and I cast you out of my life. I command you bound tonight and I cast you out of my family. I command you bound tonight and I cast you out of my destiny in the name of Jesus. Pray for yourself tonight. Tell a Yabolika Bashiki Yada. Retulia Balala Gayabokiada. 
Ratus kaya bosha kaya, retele kaya bali brava da, regele kaya bosha kada, retele kaya bosu kaya da, retolos kaya bali brava de, retele kaya bosha kaya da, rados kaya bali, rados kaya bali ada, randolo kaya bosha kada, ratus kaya bara lagari agashara, meli bara lagari bosato. Moria bara la gaya boshara, rete la gaya boli bramara, rande le brogo soto gaya boli bramara. What is that mountain standing before Zerubbabel? What is the mountain standing before you and your glory? What is the mountain standing before us in this ministry? We come and you bow according to the scripture in Matthew 18 18. We cancel your activities. We cancel your activities. We cancel your activities. Your blood and plan, your ancient plot, your today's plot, the ones you have imagined in the future, I set them ablaze, and I command them down, and I cast them out of my life. In the mighty name of Jesus, prophetically take a step of faith and tell yourself, I'm walking into glory, into glory into glory i am existing in glory in glory how many of you remember that glory is jesus jesus is glory tell yourself i am living in glory i am operating in glory i'm doing business in glory i'm talking in glory i'm applying for job in glory i'm executing contracts in glory i am carrying out my clothes in glory i'm conversing in glory i'm having connections in glory i am living like christ in glory hallelujah thank you father thank you because no man no man, no woman encounters you and remains the same. Thank you, Lord Jesus. That's our confidence that as we have been encountering you since the 5th of September till today, the 21st, Lord, thus far have you led us because you have an intention, Lord, that we will not remain the same. Thank you for that, Lord Jesus. Thank you in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. No man encounters Christ and remains the same. I want that to be a confidence in your heart. No man who has gone through the 22 days or is going through it will return back the same. Except you, we are not serious with your praying. Except you, we are not serious with your fasting. Except that you don't believe the word of God, which is what Apostle Sahom was preaching on, on Sunday. If you can only believe, it will be a performance. How many of you believe the word? Hallelujah. How many of you believe it? There shall be a performance for you. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's praise the Lord. He's taking us higher, 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 oh, higher, Lord. He's taking us higher, from glory to glory, from glory, glory to, to glory. glory, oh, higher, higher. Glory to glory, higher, 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 higher,
merciful. You've been glorious. <laughs> Hallelujah to you, Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Experiencing the glory of the Lord in your lives? Is anybody experiencing the glory? Yes. Hallelujah. There was one very strong word that Reverend Honor dropped yesterday. He said, Thank the Lord for his mercies endure it forever. And he killed Sihon, the king of the Amorites. For his mercies endure it forever. <laughs> What's the relationship between killing someone and as an expression of mercy? That's what he said to Moses. I will cause all my goodness to pass through you. I will reveal my name to you. For I will have mercy upon whom I will have mercy. Hallelujah. <laughs> so mercy does what he wants to do for the object of mercy. Hallelujah. Mercy does what he wants to do for the object of mercy. The vessel of mercy. A man walking in the glory is standing on the foundation of mercy. So how mercy structures life is difficult for human man, minds to comprehend. So this king had to be slaughtered to prove his mercy to the seed of Abraham. And it's a way of proving that his mercy endures forever. And this, you remember I told you in the morning that you will come with upgraded story today. Did some of us see some upgrades in your life today by the mercy and the grace of God? Hallelujah. So, my daughter sent me a message today that in her profession and career as a lawyer I've said that she will one day be the public protector of South Africa and from there she will move from glory to glory and for two years and two months an aspect of her certificate has been delayed we have been praying about this and uh, it's been one of the very major prayer that she's lifting up to the Lord. Sometimes she will ask God, why this delay? Should I just quit this law thing and then look for something else? And then she will calculate all the people that she, she, I'm helping these people and they are prospering because they have this particular, pe you see what paper can do to people in this life, eh? Though her own is not the paper of uh, residence, but his mercies endures forever. The woman who has been managing this, who has been sitting on her certificate for two years and two months, appeared on the paper that she died. And the moment she was reading in the Allego paper that she died, a call came to her asking for her ID so that her report can be released. And today, her report is released after two years and two months. Somebody shout glory! Yeah. Hallelujah! Last week, I told you that glory can heal and kill. Yes, sir. 
that even if it means that somebody is going to drop and die for what Jehovah has ordained for you, no man can sit on your glory. Amen. No power can cover your glory. On this mountain, every veil that covers the nation is broken and destroyed in the name of Jesus. People will come and call her. One of the occasions she was rejoicing that this is my classmate. So she knew the meaning of my mm, but she didn't want to any mm, that will distract her. So she dropped the mm. And I mean, after some months then this I was teaching this boy everything that she was he was doing in his factory. But he even went and hired his girlfriend to add on top of what we are doing. But the money comes little tiny percentage is given to her. Why? Somebody was sitting on her certificate. Whoever is sitting on any part of your glory, the Lord removed them by his glory. The Lord removed them by his glory. The Lord removed them by his glory. In the name of Jesus, you will rise and shine. Nothing will hinder you henceforth. In the name of Jesus. Well, let's just reflect for a few seconds on the thing that the man of God taught yesterday. So you hold strongly on it. You hold strongly on it. That was Exodus chapter 33 from verse 18. Let's just reflect on that. It's important that you don't forget the thing, the words, because if you pray a prayer that is not word-based, you will be struggling for too long. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Are you in, in, in verse 18 now? He thought about in pursuit of his glory. In pursuit of his glory. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So look at it. And he said, I beseech thee, show me thy glory. Every man that had ever made meaningful impact in their journey came to a point where they prayed this prayer. For the past 2,000 to 3,000 years, there is no human that walked the surface of the earth that has made the impact that could be compared to the impact of Jesus of Nazareth. No man that has ever lived had ever created history that equals what Jesus did. But in John chapter 17, Jesus prayed the same prayer. Father, you know that glory I had with you before the world began. Give it to me. Here we saw Moses crying out. He said, Lord, show me your glory. And God showed him something. Can you, you cannot stop praying this prayer. Lift up your hands to heaven. No matter whatever glory you have seen, there is another level of glory. For as we behold his face, as in the mirror through the word of God, we are being changed by the walking of the Holy Ghost into the same image. It is the same image, but it has different levels of glory. From glory to glory. Lift up your voice tonight. Say, oh Lord, show me your glory. Glory. 
in my spiritual life, in my family life, in my family life, in my relationship life, in my business life. Oh Lord, show me your glory. Show me your glory. Show me your glory. Show me your glory. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. In my ministry, Lord, show me your glory. Ah, in my ministry, show me your glory. 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 Alabadamina Gabado, Ezoziana Mazaya, take me to the next level of glory. Take me to the next level of glory. Take me to the next level of glory. Take me to the next. I am a son to buy. In the name of Jesus. from chapter 1 John has already seen we saw his glory as that of the only begotten son of the father it was full of grace it was full of truth we saw the glory from chapter 1 we saw the glory because when you are born in Christ Halabarunda Colossians chapter 1 verse 17 Christ in me is the hope of glory so if Christ dwells in me I am already standing on a level of glory saw his glory in chapter 1 but in chapter 2 verse 11 the Bible says this miracle did Jesus of Nazareth and manifested his glory and his disciples believed in him chapter 1 they saw glory chapter 2 he still needed to manifest glory I pray for you every chapter of your life every chapter of your life it will be filled with glory it will be filled with glory it will be filled with glory lift up your voice say oh lord fill every chapter of my life with your glory fill every chapter of my life with your glory fill every chapter of my life with your glory in the name of Jesus open your mouth and pray chapter 1 be filled with glory chapter 2 I will manifest glory chapter 3 I will manifest glory chapter 4 there is glory chapter 5 there is glory Oh Lord, the glory of this chapter, 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 the glory of this chapter. In the name of Jesus. Long story short. He comes to chapter 11. He was in the house of Mary and Martha. Lazarus was dead. And they were crying. Lord, if you were here, our brother wouldn't have died. He said, did I not teach you? Did I not teach you? How do you forget so quickly that 
if you believe, you will see that everything about the life of Jesus was to reveal the glory of the Father. From this day, you will never live a life of disgrace. You will never live a life void of glory. You will never live a life void of glory. Lift up your voice, say, Oh Lord, show me your glory. Show me your glory. Show me your glory. Show me your glory. In the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice, call him Adonai. Call him Adonai. Call him Adonai. We are not moving in the realm of. 
of power. We are not moving. We are not fasting and waiting for power. We are not crying out anymore for anointing. He said to Abraham, fear not, I am your great reward. Lift up your hands, say, Lord, your glory. Adonai, 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 your glory. In pursuit of his glory. Oh dear. Please says to him, I will cause, go back, go back to, to verse to chapter 18. I will cause all my goodness. And I will proclaim my name to you. This is what David was talking about in Psalm 29. He says, Goodness and mercy shall follow me. Watch that. I will cause all my goodness to pass in your front. And I will proclaim my name to you. For I will show mercy upon whom I will show mercy. No man is qualified to experience glory of his own righteousness. Sila Badaga. No man is qualified of his own righteousness, of his own ability, of his own personal human qualification to experience the glory. The glory is built on the foundation of mercy. Hallelujah. So David, David said, goodness and mercy, because for you to dwell in the realm of God's goodness, mercy needs to be your foundation. Lift up your hands and say, Lord, mercy. Lord mercy Lord mercy come boldly unto the throne of grace that you will obtain mercy before you receive grace you will have to obtain mercy for Kabbalia show me Romans chapter 9 verse 22 and 23 it is not of he that will it it is not of he that run it God will show you mercy God will show your family mercy. Mercy will speak for you. Mercy will change your story. Mercy will change your story. Mercy will change your story. Lift up your voice and say, Lord, I am a vessel of your mercy. Look at that, verse 22 and 23. 22 and 23. 22 and 23. What if God choosing to show his wrath and make his power known bore with great patience the objects of his wrath prepared for destruction? Look at what mercy is showing us here. He said, I raised Pharaoh up for destruction. There were people by divine ordination and designation have been appointed as objects of wrath. But look at verse 23. What if he did this to make the riches of his to make the riches of his glory known to the objects of his glory is built on the foundation of mercy. When he looks at you and you are an object of mercy by the sacrificial work of Christ that you embraced, you become a candidate for the release of the riches of his glory. Hallelujah. What? No, no, me what if he did this to make the riches of his glory known to the objects of his mercy whom he prepared in advance for glory kata, kata. I am prepared in advance for a life of glory lift up your voice stand to your feet raise your voice and say by Jesus Christ 
by Jesus Christ I am prepared in advance I like you to walk around in a moment and tell yourself this life of glory is my life this one is my life no it's not the life of shame it is not the life of disgrace this life of glory that is my life this life of glory that is my life this life of glory ah, I am prepared in advance for a life of glory I am prepared in advance for a life of glory I am prepared in advance hey, Abada, before the world began I am prepared for his glory I am prepared for his glory I am prepared I am prepared In the name of Jesus Christ. Is that for a while? Look back on Exodus chapter twenty chapter thirty three. Go back to thirty three. Go back to thirty three. Please, 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 please. Heli Barahao Dasha. Ibarakutia Namalada Yada. Verse nineteen now and twenty. Verse nineteen and twenty. Heli Bahaya. And he said, I will make all my goodness pass before you. And I will proclaim the name. I will proclaim the name of the Lord before you. And I will be gracious to whom I will be gracious. And I will show mercy upon whom I will show mercy. And he said, thou canst see my face. For there shall no man see me and live. Verse 21. And the Lord said, Behold, there is a place by me. And thou shalt stand upon a rock. Verse 22. And it shall come to pass while my glory passed by that I will put you in a cleft of the rock and will cover you with my hand while I pass by. From verse 20, 19 and 20 says, I will proclaim my name to you. In the days of Abraham, they knew him as Jehovah El Shaddai. But in the days of Moses, he revealed the name they did not know, the Lord Adonai. But in our generation, the highest name of God is Jesus Christ. For God has given him a name above every other name. Every other name, every other name, every other name, lift your voice, shout Jesus. God, touching a shadow of what is to come, he says to Moses, you can't see my face and leave. Kutiana. But there is a side by me, Kalandi Moria Kataya. And there is a rock that I'm going to put you on the cleft of this rock. Erama, in this rock, you will have a revelation of my glory. Or you cannot see my face. But didn't they tell us that Moses was the one communicating with God face to face? Which of the face was he communicating with God face to face? When God said you cannot see my face and leave. That's what we call epiphany. 
every visible manifestation of God in the bodily form in the earth realm was the appearance of Christ. Any man who had said, I saw God and I did not die, had experience of epiphany. They experienced the manifestation because Christ is the body of God. So he said to Moses, you desire to see my glory, but there, you can only see glory in Christ. Outside Christ, there is no glory. Christ in me is the hope of glory. You want to see my glory? I will reveal my name to you and I will show you the rock of ages. Hallelujah. So if you look at Kelianda Malato Sibahaya, watch John chapter 17. Watch John chapter 17. Watch John chapter 17. Look at verse 2. Let, let's look at let, let, let's read from verse 2. Quickly, let's read from verse 2. John chapter 17. For you granted him authority over all people that he might give eternal life to all those who have who have Oragaya. Verse 3. Now, this is eternal life. That they may know you. The only true God. And you are talking to me as God. But I will reveal my name to you. He said to Moses, you are talking to me. But there is a name that I'm going to reveal to you. And there is a rock I'm going to put you into this rock. When you are seated on this rock, there is no shaking in your life. When you are seated on this rock, the wind can come, the rain can fall, but your home is standing still. Your life is standing still. Your business is standing still. Your destiny is standing still. Lift up your voice. Say, I am standing on the rock. Make you to, I make to know you the only true God and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. Look at the next verse. Look at the next verse. I have brought you glory on earth by completing the work you gave me to do. Verse 5. And now Father glorify me in your presence with the glory I had with you before the world began. Look at verse 6. Araya, I have I have revealed you to those whom you gave me out of the world. They were yours. You gave them to me and they have obeyed your word. Look at verse 7. Labaranda, now they know that everything you have given me translation says, I have revealed your name to them. Everything about the journey of glory is the journey of knowing Christ. The deeper you go in your revelation knowledge of Christ, the deeper access you have in the realms of glory. For even the rock that followed them and the spiritual water they drank. Look at verse 8. Libaran de Kesonia Malaya. For I gave them the words you gave me and they accepted them. They knew with certainty that I came from you. It's all about knowing Christ in the Father. And they believed that you sent me. Verse 9. I pray for them. I am not praying for the world, but for those you have given me. For they are yours. Verse 10. All I have is yours. And all you have is mine. And glory has come to me through. And glory has come to me through them. Now look at verse 22 and 23. Let's finish up. I have given them the glory that you gave me. How? By this 
process of revelation of his personality and his principles that he was talking about from verse 1. As he showed us how he and the father are one. By this revelation, he has given us the glory that the father gave him. That we may be one as they are one. I in them and you in me. May they be brought to complete unity. To let the world know that you sent me and I have loved them even as you have. You are wired for glory. Stop looking for shame when you wake up. Stop looking for disgrace. Stop looking for things that are going wrong. Look for what is going right. Are you hearing me? Declare I am wired for glory. So if you remember 1 Corinthians chapter 10. Verse 3 and 4. He was explaining to them. That there was a rock. That rock God put Moses. He said, I will put you on the cleft of this rock. And as you stand by this rock, my glory will move. I will use my hand to cover your face so you don't see the one you are not meant to see. But everything you need to see in me, you will see in glory, in Christ, the rock. Because Hebrew chapter 1 verse 3 says, he is the radiance. That's why my daughter's name is Radiance. He is the radiance of the glory of the Father. So you want to see glory? Look at Jesus. As we behold his face as in a mirror, we are being changed to realms and dimensions of glory. Don't wake up in the morning and face your trouble. Don't wake up in the morning and start complaining about your problems. Don't wake up in the morning and start looking at the negative things happening around your life. There is no glory in your trouble. Glory is in Christ. Wake up in the morning. Open the mirror of the word of God. And seek the face of Jesus. If you can see a dimension of his revelation. You can encounter another level of his glory. Some people wake up in the morning. They are wondering. Why am I feeling so happy? Because they are not wired to be happy. Now, is there not something to worry about? Why is my heart like this? I'm telling you the truth. And then suddenly, his mind remembers. His mind is doing like, I want to be happy. I want to be angry. I want to be happy. I want to, I want to be depressed. I want to be annoyed. Then the devil will remind you, this is enough to be angry now. But you might say, ah, it's, okay, it's true. It's life. See what you are looking for. If you had taken your time when you wake up in the morning to look at his face in the mirror and see the reflection of the glorious life you are meant to live today, you will live a shameful life. So look at what he says. The son, ah, ah, you left that one, leave that one. Let's finish. Stand to your feet. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Stand to your feet. First Corinthians chapter 10. First Corinthians chapter 10, verse 2 and 3. Verse 2, 3, 4. Labada, it's okay, leave it there. They all ate the same spiritual food and drank the same spiritual drink. For they drank from the spiritual rock that accompanied them. And that rock was the food they ate was a spiritual food. Jesus comes, he said to them, your fathers actually didn't eat manna. The true manna that came from heaven is me. So even the spiritual bread they ate in the wilderness was Christ. It's only in eating Christ that you find sustainability in the realm of glory. Hallelujah. And he said, the water you drank is not an ordinary water. It was a spiritual water. It was the water of life. And this water was proceeding from the same rock that the father promised. He says, as you stand on this rock, you will 
finish this journey. I prophesy over your life. As you stand on the rock of ages, you will finish well. You will not die prematurely. You will not die prematurely. You will not die prematurely. You will get to the end of the journey. You will finish well. You will finish gloriously. You will finish gloriously. You will finish gloriously. In the name of Jesus. The water came from the rock. And the rock was Christ. I hold not a rock, but a rock holds me. The rock holds me. The rock holds me. Holds me. I hold not a rock. But the rock holds me. I'm standing on the rock, Jesus. I hold not the rock. I hold not the rock. But the rock holds me. The rock holds me. I surrender fully to you. You are my life. You are my purpose. You are the definition of my life. You are the meaning of my life. You are my ultimate pursuit. You are my ultimate pursuit. Thou rock of ages. Let my feet be established in you. Come rain, come shine. I am standing on you. Thou rock of ages, uphold me by the word of your grace. Thou rock of ages, thou rock of ages, I stand on you. in me the hope of glory rock of ages let for me, me. Ah. Let, let, let me hide myself in thee oh Jesus let, let the world and the blood from which flow be of me that of save me save your rock of ages you did cleft for Moses he said to Moses there is a cleft by the rock Oh, dear Lord Jesus. 